newly adopted kitten begins changing rapidly before her family uncovers a bewildering twist. In Russia, a high school girl named Dasha was getting ready to meet a new addition to her family. Her mother wanted a kitten and she organized a meeting with someone who was trying to find families for a few felines. Right away though, there was a disagreement. The cat caretaker had two cats up for grabs. Dasha liked one of the cuter kittens while her mom preferred the other one, a scraggly little thing covered in patches of different colored fur. As Samina the cat grew older, she shed some of her hair in places she'd once had in abundance. The family, in a light-hearted sense, felt deceived. Their cat had grown out of her fuzziness and into something a little less, well, cute. And boy, was it bad. Samina grew into such a strange-looking cat that Dash's guests often asked if she found the animal in Chernobyl. They were referring, of course, to the infamous city that was abandoned after a meltdown at the nuclear power plant of that same name in 1986. But in all seriousness, did Samina really look so disastrous that guests in Dash's home genuinely mistook her for one of the mutated animals living on the site of a nuclear disaster? Well, over four years, Samina changed and changed until fur only protruded in bunches from her underbelly like a bad woolen bedskirt. The rest of her coat was pretty much bald, save for a bit of peach fuzz. Still, the family didn't flinch with their cat. A sphinx, as it turned out, mixed with another breed of cat, had become. To them, and to many others, Samina was cute, if not a bit odd-looking. Still, she developed a few weird habits. For one, Samina loved ice cream. Apparently, she didn't mind the terrible stomach aches the dairy-based dessert was liable to give most felines. She, like a handful of other cats, couldn't get enough of it. But that wasn't even her most strange obsession. Apparently, Samina also loved hematogen, a Russian candy bar for children. With her excellent ears, she could hear someone unwrapping a bar on the other side of the apartment. Of course, once this happened, she'd run over for a bite. Samina at first didn't get along so well with the men of the household. Whenever she saw Dash's younger brother, she hid, studying him and watching him. She only interacted with men after a great deal of caution. Peculiar as Samina might have been, in a lot of ways she was no different than your typical household tabby. She played with toys, was an avid cuddler, and of course she ignored attempts to get her attention, unless you had a hematogen. On top of that, Samina was dangerous in a way that only household cats could be. The family admitted she was cute and affectionate one moment, but in an instant her mood would change and she'd lash out with sharp claws, all with a devious look on her face. That said, caring for Samina did require a bit of additional work for the family. Dasha and her mother had to clean the cat twice per day and wipe gunk out of her eyes. Evidently, she was a dirty cat. Because of all that dirt and gunk, People who didn't know Samina constantly asked if the unique cat came from Chernobyl or they'd call her something from a nightmare. Those comments never changed how Dasha and her family felt about their cat though. The family just loved their strange and quirky cat. They loved the way she hunted flies with ruthless abandon. They loved the way she hid in the closet and blended in with old clothes. And Dasha even had a message to fellow cat lovers out there. Dash's message continued and she admitted that it didn't matter what your cat looked like. You should love her like she's the most beautiful on the planet. Because rest assured, your little feline will look at you that way. While Dasha probably wasn't telling her friends she had the conventionally best looking cat out there, at least she had plenty to say about the unique loving sweetheart who loved to play and cuddle with her like only Samina could. 